Hi, Tucker. This is a uh, global bucket, uh, similar to the earth box, but it's made with much cheaper materials that you can get from any uh, big box home improvement store, none uh, in particular that we're endorsing here. But um, here's, here's how it's made. Tucker, you want to come show how we made this? So we took, hold on a second, we took a lid, we took a uh, five gallon bucket, and then this is a five gallon bucket, bucket lid, and we took a jigsaw, and we cut out a circle that was about ten and a half inches in diameter, right? Uh, yeah, and we just drilled a hole about as big as, like, yeah. that circle. So then we, we cut out a place in the bucket for a planter about this size. We cut slits in the uh, planter and we put that in the bottom. We cut several holes. Okay. Tucker, you're in the way. You, the camera can't see because you're sitting in front. And then we've got a PVC pipe about two feet long that we cut a notch in the bottom. Tucker, you run get the other PV, PVC pipes so we can see what the notch is. And then we anchored it to the bucket with a cable tie right there. We got two small holes. And then there's also a um, water overflow hole that we drilled right there. So and the pipe was like this. So there's a notch cut into the bottom so that the water can get to the, the bottom. The roots all the way to the seed. All right. So we're about to fill this up with dirt and then I'll plant something in it. All right? Yeah, like a lima bean. What we've done now is we filled up the planter in the bottom of the bucket with organic um, potting. Soil? Uh, potting mix, not potting soil, potting mix yeah. for containers. And then Tucker took his SpongeBob glove, show him your gloves there, and you made a fist and show him what you did in the middle. Do that again, punch that in the middle. So we compact the soil in the middle of the bucket and we leave it loose around the edges. And that'll help wick up moisture from that bottom container up to where the roots are. All right, one other thing I want to do and show everybody is um, this isn't uh, part of the regular earth box stuff, but we Take a little bit of this soil mo moist granules, and you don't need many, but we'll just put a few of those in about the middle of the bucket. And what they do is they, uh, they're a, you know, man-made product, but they will suck up moisture and then release it. So if you happen to forget a watering, it won't uh, cause tomatoes to crack or whatever plants to suffer. So we've got that in there, and now we're going to go on to the next stage, okay? So now, um... We filled up the potting mix and we put in some lawn um, lime that will just uh, change the pH of the soil and sweeten it and make it a little better for the vegetables. Um, I read online not to use this pellet lime, but a guy at the nursery said it was okay. And so we're going to give it a shot, see how it does this year. Next year we may try something else, but I didn't put a whole lot in there, just sort of a, um, a light dusting of that stuff. And then we continue to add potting mix, and we're going to make it uh, make a mound of potting mix here at the top, sort of like the top of a loaf of bread. All right. We filled up the bucket with the potting mix, and uh, Tucker's been punching it in the middle, so the moisture will wick up from the reservoir at the bottom. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, Espoma Garden uh, Natural Organic Fertilizer, and we're going to put it around the edge of the bucket up here at the top. Let's see if I can do this. Just make a little ring of it. Just make, just make it like go all the way around but not touch that thing. Okay, I think I'll try that. Like barely touch it. Make a little ring. Alright. So? Now we're going to get a trash bag, use it as a mulch cover. We'll cut an X in the top with a razor blade. We'll plant our vegetable in there. Okay? Hey. Tucker, Sorry. tell them what we've done. Um, we have put a trash bag on there and put this. Put the top original on. original lid ring. Remember, we cut out the section in the yes, middle. Yes. With the top that one. jigsaw. We used a jigsaw. So uh, now we also you know cut a slit for this tube. So now we're just going to cut this excess off of the sides here. And it makes a nice, neat little mulch cover to keep weeds from getting in there. You don't want weeds growing in your vegetables, right? Yeah, right. 
plants. It eliminates weeds. Then the plant will die. All together, a lot of people that have you know a garden, they gotta worry about weeds and weeding and mulch and all that. But we don't have to worry about that. We got this nice little plastic bird box. Yeah. All right. So now tuck your in the way. But now we're going to uh, cut an X in the top, plant our lima bean, and water it. Tucker, okay. tell her what we did. What do we do? Okay, so we we got all the stuff out of the plant that we were going to plant. So we put it in this earth box. Yeah, and we cut a slit in the plastic. Yes. And then we put the plant in there. Transplanted with the, plant. the roots. We kept the roots intact. And now it's time to fill up the water reservoir. So we take this part. Take the funnel so we take there. the funnel yeah. and pour some water. Up, oh, time! Let's so see the water full. Coming. The water's coming out the overflow valve there. It's not a valve, it's a hole. But it's still. <laughs> so we're full hole. We just created our own earth box. That's right. And that maybe is the end? That's the end. We'll see how it grows. Yep. We'll let everybody know.